Hello, and welcome to My Secret Math Tutor. In this example, we want to simplify an expression that contains a few exponents. Okay? So specifically, we're going to go and take a look at x to the negative 3 times y divided by z squared, and all of that is to the negative fourth power. So watch how I apply different rules for exponents to go ahead and simplify this. All right, the first rule I'm going to use has to deal with this fraction and the exponent of negative 4. If you have a fraction raised to a power, you can give that power to the top of the fraction and to the bottom. There we go. So the negative 4 is on the top and on the bottom. Now up top here, Notice how I have two things that are being multiplied, and they're also in turn being raised to the power of this negative 4. Well, I can use the product rule to give the negative 4 to each of these, the x and the y. All right, looking pretty good. Now the next rule I want to apply has to deal with the z and the x. Notice how both of them have an exponent, and in turn they are also raised to another exponent. This is a great situation to use what is known as the power rule. Now according to the power rule, I can multiply these two exponents together. All right, so let's do that for the x and for the z. Negative 3 times negative 4 gives me a positive 12 and down below 2 times negative 4, a negative 8. Alright, so our expression is starting to look really good, and you might be tempted to stop, but please don't, because we actually have a negative in the, the top exponent and a negative in the bottom exponent. And when we want to simplify expressions, we often want to write them using only positive exponents. Well, not to worry, we can actually take care of these negative exponents, and here's how we do it. Anytime you see a fraction and some terms with some negative exponents, it's basically going to change the location of where that term is. So if I have z to the negative 8 in the bottom, I'm going to move that to the top part of my fraction and then make its exponent positive, just like that. All right? Notice how the y has a negative exponent. So I'm going to move that one to the bottom and make its exponent positive. Now, that x to the 12, it, it doesn't have a negative exponent, so there's no need to change where it is. It's going to stay right where it is. And as you can see, this will handle both of our negative exponents just fine. So when we're all done simplifying, our answer becomes x to the 12th times z to the 8th, all divided by y to the 4th. If you'd like to see some more videos, please visit MySecretMathTutor.com.